19 interesting facts about Sid Kagano from Eminence and Shadow by Anime Stats. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for more fucking PowerPoint presentation about interesting details. Okay. Minoru Kageno was Sid's real name before he got isekai'd. And it's like, how did he keep that Kageno part, right? Because he became Sid Kageno. It's just fucking luck? Oh, whatever. Next one. Number two, Sid was forced into playing piano by his parents at first. Every fucking Asian child can relate. But eventually he became to enjoy it because it fit his eminence and shadow persona. Now, believe it or not, I too, I think it was in grade eight. I was on YouTube and somehow I encountered the song Moonlight Sonata. And I thought this shit was so cool, so epic. I had to learn how to play it myself. I shit you not. That's why whenever Sid plays the piano, I fucking pop up because it's such a memorable, relatable memory. Now, number three, to become an eminence in shadow and influence the world from shadow, uh, shadows was Kagano's passion from his childhood even before he got Isekai. Because he doesn't really know what that really means just yet, right? What does it really mean to be the eminence in shadow? That's like a question that he's like proposing to us every time. All right. Kageno Minoru practiced and mastered many disciplines in his past life, such as karate, boxing, mixed martial arts, and yoga. Yoga? Wait, no, no, no. I, I think the yoga is actually important. I think the yoga was explained during a light novel, which is like, um, somehow it helped with like mana conductivity. I don't know. What was the yoga used for? I forget. But yeah, that's why he has such like good barrier like hand-to-hand -hand combat too and he knows how to fucking fight with the crowbar after being reincarnated sid used to practice at night when everyone was asleep to keep his background character image that's right this was the moment that he became i'm not sure if stylish band slayer is correct because he has his new shadow outfit here i also wonder when was it the switch between stylish bandit slayer using the paper bag versus the actual you know shadow suit because there's clearly a point where probably ada finished the designs of the suit i'm not really sure but yeah he just went around the stylish bandit slayer saving like yukime saving rose saving so many different girls too next one sid used meditation techniques to replenish energy and perfect his control of magic yeah, I think this is what I remembered. So did he used to do actually do yoga? I'm not really sure, but meditation. Yes, he does do that. Next. Sid believes that fighting techniques in his new world are inferior to those he learned in his previous life. I did not know that. I thought well, he, he thinks that they are less polished and sensible. Huh. Huh. Maybe any news covered this in the light in, in one of the, the cut light novel content about how Sid, you know, approaches combat and magic and stuff like that. I didn't think he looked down on people here. I thought that, oh, the the combat system. I guess if you think about it, if you compare it to modern world, like developed techniques, you compare that shit in the future compared to the past in this like more like, I don't know, anime medieval world. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Next. Through, through his hard work, Sid acquired the ability to permanently transfer part of his own power to others. This has only happened for nine people, right? That's seven shades plus Victoria and Oriana. His power can cure the Curse of Diabolos, which is basically just like Mana Overlord is the Curse of Diabolos, isn't it? Is it actually different? Because like the possession, which is caused by the Curse of Diabolos, I thought this was just Isekai Cancer. So it's like Mana Overload happens, your body can't contain it. So Shadow does a little tuning on your body so like your body can properly handle the, the flow of Mana. The receiver's magical power and allows them to control their magic easily. Yeah, again, very rare for people. It's all the same shit, right? Curse of Diabolos, Possession, Mono Overload, or as someone would say, basically just anime cancer. It just fucking happens. Randomly. It just does. All right. Okay. Sid's shadow character is inspired by TV shows, video games, and other stories that Sid was obsessed with. It'd be pretty cool if there was an actual real, um, I don't know, some some real work of fiction that we know in real life that he was like, oh, Sid used to fucking read a lot of Dragon Ball. So now that's why he's has an obsession with using beam attacks or something. But no. Sid initially created mundane man character in order to fulfill his fantasy. The fantasy was basically just a weak guy showing up, popping the fuck off in front of like this insane tournament or the strongest compete, right? I think that's the whole point of Monday Man. Right? Sid, okay. 
he want okay sometimes fuck he keeps doing this thing where he shows the initial text and it changes so i have to like wait to see if it's gonna change or not but look it changed he wanted to act as a mysterious fighter who is initially mocked for being seemingly weak but then shocks everyone by demonstrating his true power that's right we intentionally took some fucking hits from what's his name fucking quentin that one-eyed baldy that's right we initially got shit on by quentin just to see that ha 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 mundane man is so mundane but then he still he walks in then without doing anything he just fucking snaps his neck fucking sneezes a little destroys everybody next sid used magic on his body to the point where he developed a practical immunity to any chemical substance okay the fact that he showed me this Excalibur scene moment here, I thought he was going to say Sid uses magic on his Excalibur. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> is, there, is there a second part that's going to happen? To any chemical substance? He is immune to poison and narcotics that would otherwise be destructive to his body. So even like alcohol, technically he can't really like get drunk off of it. Interesting. The poison resistance in any narcotics. During interrogation nights, denailed, denailed? I don't know what that means. I guess this is the act of like putting a nail on your fucking your your hand. You're getting basically the bolted on like crucified like Jesus Christ on a car cross. On both hands to get information from him regarding the whereabouts of Princess Alexia Midger. Yeah. Yeah, that did happen. <laughs> That's a very interesting fact. It's just Okay. <laughs> that was pretty brutal though, yeah. Is is this gonna change? Is this gonna change? Okay, no, I can read the next one. Due to him personally putting forth tremendous efforts to become strong, Sid respects other people's hard work. However, this is the... I, I know this exact moment. It's episode 5, season 1. This is the moment where Zenon Griffey is like, takes the fucking pills and he says, I am the Almighty. And Sid's like, what the fuck did you just say about the Almighty? We don't take our borrowed power, right? Does he mention this? He respects other people's hard work. However... Here we go. He dislikes those whose strength is solely borrowed. That's right. Now, I think this is a very important thing. The key word here is solely because I thought when this happened, I thought to myself, but what about your girls? You gave them power. I'm not saying that they're, con you know, that they are saying that they themselves are almighty, but it's kind of fucked up to be like, you know, <laughs> it, like you fucking bar got borrowed power you fucking trash but no it says solely borrowed because the girls also they did get the powers but they also customize it to make it their own all right next one sid has the ability to conceal and compress his enormous magical power to evade magical detectors when was an example of this i forget his armor is made using slime jelly, an item harvested by Rimuru Tempest's entire fucking clan. Sorry, I mean, by Sid from the slime corpses. That's right. He almost went, made an entire slime species go extinct just for this power suit, right? He used to hunt down slime to the degree that the local area became suffering from a slime deficiency. Just changing the fucking ecosystem. Magic can be used to strengthen weapons. However, there is always some degree of loss of power. Huh? I love how they're showing Iris for this one too, where she takes fat L's. What do you mean? Degree of loss of power? Even Mithril, which is considered to be the metal with highest magic conductivity, is capable of 50% magic efficiency. Oh yeah, and then to contrast that with, let's say, our slime, which is 99% magic conductivity. Slimes that Sid uses as his weapons possess 99% magic conductivity, which means that the magic loss is practically zero. Okay. Sid is the only, uh, Sid is only surpassed in intelligence and knowledge by Gamma and Ada, which is fucking sad. Wait, no, 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 this is just intelligence, never mind. I thought we were talking about, like, espionage and silence, yeah. So Gamma and Ada, yeah, it makes sense. Gamma has, like, the crazy finance, e economic skills. Ada is just, like, a chief scientist of research. And then I guess you could never fucking compare someone like Zeta or like Delta to the intelligence, huh? I mean, not that Delta ever claims that she's strong. No, she's fine. Sid even made such a mean comment in season two, right? There was a scene where we were comparing Delta and Yukime, like intelligent beast folk and not intelligent beast folk. And it showed Yukime and then Delta. I was like, why you gotta do your doggo like that? All right, the final fact. Sid has extraordinary mastery over his body. He can control his own digestive flow, heart rate, body temperature, and even, I think, I think a perfect episode that highlights this is 
the episode where he restarted his heart. Now, I think of all the videos that we've seen from Anime Stats channel, again, give this video a like and subscribe to his channel if you did. I think this is the least cap video. Again, please be respectful to his channel. I know a lot of people are saying that shit's cap, that shit's cap, but still, it's entertainment first and foremost.